We're fifth generation family farmers, currently growing corn, soybeans, and wheat. For the 2015 growing season, uh, I spent a lot of time meeting with my chemical retailer, um, which is Helena, and they represent Kevin Bostic, as well as Nicole Mercer from BASF. Uh, we went over uh, different chemical plans for our entire farm. We needed to be more proactive with the chemical management, as well as um, laying out, you know, what farms or what hybrids, you know, we needed to put fungicide on as well as looking at different management strategies, especially on the soybean side. My relationship with my growers is very personal to me. Dailies definitely are looking for an expert on you know, fungicides, herbicides, insecticides, but they want someone who can kind of see the whole picture, understand how not just that product, but how that product fits into their total operation. With the invention of Roundup soybeans, a lot of people haven't seen a chem rep on the farm for over 10 years. So, you know, there's a bank of questions that they're kind of just waiting to ask and, and have someone help them form a plan. The 100 Bushel Challenge was born when I was working with uh, Kevin Bostick, the Helena retailer who uh, works with dailies. We went ahead and talked to them about things that were holding them back from reaching 100 bushel soybeans. And this 100 Bushel Soybean Challenge was proposed at that planning meeting back in January. Nicole's role in our operation is to provide the expertise. She is 100% a chemical expert. She does a great job of being there to help. She's out in the field walking with you or coming out and checking the field during the summer to make sure everything looks okay. And uh, also continually follows up with you and makes sure that, you know, if there's anything else you need, are there any additional changes or any new management strategies we need to, need to do. I'm most excited to offer my growers a few new ideas for them to try on their farm to bring them new innovations and solutions. The soybean plan Nicole helped put together included the Optil Pro as our chemical up front as well as some outlook when we came back later. Um, she also helped us tailor our planting population. Uh, we also worked with Nicole to make sure we got our fungicide on at the appropriate time. Initially, the dailies were very excited to do the 100 bushel soybean challenge. They had been looking for a while to increase their soybean yields. The BASF products applied on this plot performed great compared to some of the other uh, products we'd used. Um, the Optil Pro, uh, along with the Outlook coming back, did a great job of keeping the weed pressure down, as well as uh, Fast Act as an insecticide to help take care of all the insects we had. Uh, also, the fungicide uh, Preaxor that we used on this plot has done a great job for us on the soybean acres we put it on. Uh, there's actually some fields I did not put fungicide on that I, after harvesting them the past couple weeks, I actually regret not putting fungicide on. I should have went ahead and put that on. To me, Grow Smart means not doing what you've always done and taking the things that, that you try that work in, in a situation and applying that to your entire farm and getting consistent higher yields and applying these new things over a bigger area you know, Grow Smart is, is the entire picture. When we harvest the 100 bushel soybean plot, I expect to see 100 bushel soybeans and better. And that's a big step up from the average of 50 that we've seen in the past. Today was a great day as far as harvesting soybeans. Uh, the yield numbers were astronomical. Um, you know, 130, 140 bushel soybeans in areas. The plot certification, uh, the yield came in at 102 bushels per acre on 3.2 acres. The term grow smart means to me not only to continue to move forward and be progressive, but also as you're doing that, continue to look at your operation and find things that you can change to improve, just like we're doing in this 100 bushel challenge. Well, today we came up with the average yield number. We called a third party, we called the, the pioneer rep in, local to the area who had a way wagon um, that had already been uh, certified and every um, pass that we brought off with the combine we weighed until we had uh, three acres. We did not have the perfect year, we did not have a year where you know we really thought that maybe that this was possible. Um, but it goes to show you when you have the right plan and, and you Mother Nature throws you a few curveballs and you change on the, on the fly, you can all come together. 
One of the best things about working with the dailies is that they are willing to challenge the status quo and, and try something new that maybe nobody's tried before. I would like other growers to know that Grow Smart is not just one thing, it's a whole system. It was a lot of little things, a lot of little decisions that ended up leading to the success. The 100 bushel challenge would not have been successful without teamwork. From the retailer initially talking to Dailies and him immediately thinking of me and bringing me in on this and he and I developing a systems approach um, to the pioneer rep who came in and recommended the seed, none of those things would have happened without the entire group working together.